How are you doing everyone? In this tutorial I want to show you the great power of Eternity Delay on a, a drum break and on a lo-fi house uh, drum beat. So let's start with the drum break. The, the clean drum break sounds like this. Let Give me a second. This is the clean drum break. And let's lower down the output because we're gonna push it really hard. When you load Eternity Delay, first of all, um, unsync line one, take them both to one millisecond, the feedback all the way to the left, input all the way up, output all the way up. So it's important to lower down the output of the channel itself. Now you can play with the input. So you hear the flanging effect, it's because it's not all the way wet. But it's nice that you can get uh, extra saturation and not all the way. But then you get the flanging effect if you like it. So I like it like here. Let's compare it before and after. So before it's like this. And after. Very tape, tape saturation style. The beat crusher also giving it really warm uh, high end. Let's put it around 4. Something like 3 feet, like in 3.55, 55. And that's it, a beat crusher, a filter, and a tape saturation, and all of this with a clipper or a limiter in the end, because you can see that no much, it's no matter how much I drive the input and the output, the channel, the channel uh, doesn't clip in. So it's amazing. And let's go to the next uh, demonstration. The utility here is to compare between the two. So Let's make the same routing like we did in the uh, earlier, in the next, uh, in the earlier beat, drum break. Put it all the way wet. This is clean. This is saturated. For this one you can tweak a lot of knobs like You see? can really get a lot of tone out of this delay plugin and when it really shines you can also map parameters to the LFO and then will follow up so you can for example 
let's see, map the L4 to the feedback. Line one feedback. Sample and all. Let's do it like rhythmically. that's it this is what you can do with the eternity delay except except of the simple delay plugin of course it's not simple because you got all these LFOs and stuff like this but you can actually use it as a tap saturation filter and bit crusher and all of this together with two LFOs and envelope follower so thank you for watching see you next time